JJ again. We're taking a look at the MV1 FS Neo Geo here. We just finished cleaning up. It's out here in the sun to dry. And, you know, it cleaned up fairly well. Um, nothing was particularly dis... Well, there's a few things disturbing. Um, there's a trace over here. Let me adjust lighting a little bit. There's a trace over here where we've lost the solder mask. Um, so I'm not sure if that trace is compromised. There's also not, a, not other traces all over the board, even in areas that wouldn't have been affected by the battery. The battery really didn't do much. Um, it did start to get into some of the traces around it, but that's been neutralized and cleaned up. And um, I don't expect those traces to be an issue. Um, there's still some more dust where I wasn't, where I was. It was very hard to get tools. I'll just probably. You know, once I've now that I've gotten the big issues dealt with, I'll probably tackle it with some compressed air and something a little bit m more forceful. Um, you know, there is dust, there is discoloration, um, basically all over, even on some of these little surface mount chips, um, like the Neo Do. Um, it doesn't look particularly nice and clean, so a little bit of Clean up there may be necessary. I might wind up re-soldering it. It does, you know, that's that's just dust caking on top of it, so it shouldn't really affect it. But over here, it looks like it may, over in some of this area, if we can focus, it looks like it may have um, caked a little. It may have, we may have some lifted pins. Um, what's slightly more disturbing, you may not be able to see it, is throughout this board, even on areas that have really no, we're nowhere near that the battery for damage you might be able to see some discoloration of the solder mask and I can't quite tell if the trace is broken below there haven't pulled out a meter to buzz it yet so that's a little bit worrying once this once the um, last bits of the alcohol and the little bit of vinegar I had to use have dried I'll go in and start taking a look at that and then get some of these other areas where there's remaining dust from my initial cleaning, especially around the legs of the parts, um, you know, where I wasn't able to clean it very well. I'll be cleaning it with a little more force now. There's a little bit of um, copper. There, got really discoloration in the transistor over here. It's used with the, um, for the backup RAM. It's probably for the chip select on the backup RAM so that it won't try to it won't be selected while it's just in standby mode you can see some discoloration here over by the um, the synthesizer we might have some dead traces there it's just really hard to tell what is actually damaged and what is just the solder mask being discolored because you know the solder mask has been in a very unfriendly environment to itself um, so hopefully we'll have this up on the jig in a bit and we can start doing some real diagnosing.